Hello, welcome back. So let's continue our discussion, day three, volume of revolution. So again, we're revolving about a line that is not the x-axis or y-axis. In this case, like number six, we want to revolve the region bounded by the parabola x squared plus two and four minus x squared about the line y equals negative three. So the first thing we should do is just graph it, take a look at it. We're not looking for perfection. Uh, f of x is x squared plus 2, so it's a parabola starting at 2, and of course it's opening up. And we have y 4 minus x squared, so it's starting at 4. This parabola opens down. So we are looking at this region. I'm going to show you kind of how fast these kind of go here. We're looking at this region. We want to revolve this about the line y equals negative 3. So I graph negative 3, y equals negative 3. And I notice it's horizontal. If I were to draw my rectangle of mathematics up to the function itself, to the very tip top, then remember, this is going to be my outside radius here. I notice it's going to be vertical. So that's nice. We're at a vertical rectangle. So therefore, we have to be in terms of x. So I'm going to start this. So um, now I do have this big old gap here that I do not want. So I have this big old gap here that I don't want. So I'm actually going to have two rectangles. I have an outside rectangle, and I'm going to have an inside rectangle like so. And I'm going to revolve them both about the, about the line y, uh, y equals negative 3. So let me see. Let me give you that because it's a lot of drawing right there. So I'm going to look at the outside one first. Remember, the outside one is also the longest. I mean, if you want to think about it that way, it's the long. It's going to be the one that's going to be the long disk. And let's see if I draw this. That's this one right here. I want to get that radius. So the top is going to be the function opening down. Remember, top minus the bottom. Be very careful here. The top is going to be that 4 minus x squared. The bottom, remember, it's the right axis of revolution. It's that negative 3 right here. So it's that line y equals negative 3. There it is. So negative 3. And it's going to be, because it's vertical, dx thick. My inside one, which is going to be my short radius, if you want to think about it that way. To get the radius, it's going to be, again, same thing. Top minus bottom. There's my short one. The top is my parabola opening up, x squared plus 2, minus the bottom, which is my axis of revolution again. So that's going to give us this x squared plus 2, minus a negative 3 again. And there's my dx for the thickness. And now you can see my volume. Ready? To get my volume, remember it's volume of the out minus the volume of the in. We get pi, the radius of the outside, becomes, uh, what's that? If I do 4 minus negative 3, that's really just 7 minus x squared. Squared, remember, volume is pi r squared h. Um, dx, because there's my h, it's a dx, right? There's my h. Minus the inside, pi. If I do this one, we get x squared, 2 minus negative 3, so plus 5 squared. Now, the plus 5 should sound okay for us. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. Because what I'm doing is I'm adding an extra distance. If I'm, if I'm originally measuring to the x-axis like we did in the previous day, last yesterday. But now we're increasing that distance by another 3. So we're adding another 3 units to our actual radius here. And of course, we're just going to multiply this by dx, by our height. Write this as a single law, as a single one, pi. You're going to write out your integral. We get 7 minus x squared squared minus x squared plus 5 squared dx. I, mean, I just factored out the common pi in the dx right there. That's all we did. And got to find out where they meet, of course. Let's go and find out where they meet for the bounds. The, where does 4 minus x squared equal x squared plus 2? Uh, that's going to give us 2x squared equal to, uh, what's that become? 6. So x squared equals 3. And if you solve, we should get plus or minus root 3. So we go from negative root 3 to positive three. And there's our answer right there. All right, in another video, we're going to take a look at this pure calculator question. We're going to take a look at how do we use the calculator on these, and it's really not all that bad. We'll take that look at that in another video. But I want to kind of go like here. Here's an AP question right here. 
Number eight, it says region R is bounded by the parabolas y squared minus 3 and g of y is 3 minus y. Now notice we are in terms of y. So if we're in terms of y, therefore we're looking at a horizontal rectangle. And we want to determine which of the following expressions can give us the volume when we revolve it about x equals negative 3. And there's x equals negative 3 right there. There's our axis of revolution. I'll put my little curly cue in there. So all I got to do, ready? From the axis of revolution, I got to go out to the farthest one. Ready? And there it is. There is my outside radius. Well, my outside radius, if you want to do it really short and quick, nasty, it's just, remember, it's going to be right minus the left. So the right is going to be this line right here, which is going to be that, it looks like that 3y plus 1. That's the only line right there. So the 3y plus 1. The left, remember the left here? Oh, no, that's my axis of revolution. Notice, one of these is always going to be the axis of revolution, whether it be the right or the left. Take a look up here. The axis of revolution with the bottom. If we look up here, the axis of revolution was, whoops, sorry, was the right side this time because my axis of revolution was the right. So when you're doing these between two function things, you're one of your, one of your, uh, the right or left, one of them has to be the axis of revolution. Same thing for top and bottom. And that's what we have here. In this case, it's the left, which is this negative 3. So that's going to give me 3y plus 4. And if I want to find, and uh, we do the inside radius, that's easy enough to do too. Um, oops, sorry. So from the function here to the inside part which is a parabola and there is my inside it's kind of hard to see there so there's my smaller one so it's the the right same thing because it's horizontal we want right minus left the right is our parabola which is that y squared minus three minus the left which is again that axis of revolution it's that negative three right there so we're just going to here we just get oh it's that y squared that's how nice that is so if i want to find my volume we get pi we get the radius of the outside squared, 3y plus 4 squared, minus y squared squared dy. Now, so let's go ahead and take a look over here, see if any of these kind of match that real quick. Ah, look at the bottom. Nope, that does it. Nope, nope. Ah, there it is, part D. It's the only one that kind of matches. Even if I don't even have the bounds, I mean, I can get the bounds pretty easily. My y value starts at negative 1 and ends at 4. So the answer is going to be D for us. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go to video number three, and we'll take a look at how to use a calculator. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.